Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene and today we're gonna to be talking about males, females, and Hermes because, well, we just hate them, right? But first, show some love and support by watching the entire video, dropping a like, subscribing, and tapping the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, be sure to join our VIP Patreon program for tips, monthly giveaways, live streams, all that good stuff. Link will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, if you wanna come and sesh with us, check out our grows and just chill with us, follow us on Instagram, a link to that will also be in a description below. And by the way, guys, we're actually filming this on Sunday. It's now Tuesday as you're watching the video right now. So we're going to be starting to grow now. So if you wanna be in line and grow along with me, you better literally start today because right now you're only gonna be two days out. So if you're gonna start growing, if you wanna grow along with me, definitely Pop your beans, start popping them today. Follow us on Instagram, we're gonna have videos, we're gonna have, you know, like little clips, we're gonna have photos, a lot of stuff on Instagram. So that's gonna be the best way for you guys to follow along with our next grow, our first grow in our very own house, you know what I'm saying? So on to today's video. Now, when you grow plants, three things are going to happen. It's literally just three things. You're either gonna get females, which is awesome, males, which sucks, unless you're a breeder, of course, and Hermes, which just sucks even harder, okay? Now, and if you're trying to grow, you gotta know the difference, so you can have successful grows, and not knowing the difference between males, females, and Hermes is gonna end up being equivalent to being boned super hard in your hindquarters by a cactus. So trust me, I can't imagine that being a good feeling, all right? So try not to get boned and know the difference. First off, let's talk about the difference between male and female plants. Now. When you're in the seedling or in the veg stage, you know, it's not very easy to tell the difference right away, but as they start to transition into the flowering stage, your plants are gonna start to reveal whether they are male or they're female. And this is when females start to produce resinous flowers straight up loaded with cannabinoids, and the males are gonna grow a pair of balls that, you know, you can call them pollen sacs, but let's just call them balls. I mean, it just sounds more high key, you know what I'm saying? Most people that are just trying to grow flowers for their own personal use, are, they're gonna go with females, right? Keep in mind that depending on your plant genetics, the females can look a little bit different from each other. Some can stay small, produce producing dense canopies and lateral growth, but others are gonna be huge and produce massive yields, and they're just gonna look more like big trees instead of smaller bushes, but of course, you can manipulate that with plant training, of course. On the other hand, males don't produce flowers at all, which makes them completely and utterly useless to people that are trying to grow for the flowers. So instead of producing flowers, they produce pollen sacs, balls, you know what I'm saying? And that's what they need to fertilize the females, and that's how cross-breeding happens which is super important to breeders so oh see what are you talking about males are good if you're a breeder that's what I'm talking about if you're a breeder then absolutely males have some use but for just flowers males are completely useless I know some of you guys have been asking me in the comment section whether I personally would create my own strains and I'm thinking I might do it one day but it's not something that I'm trying to go for and do right now my only focus is to just grow some nice flowers for me and my wife and make videos for you guys you know do some vlogs you know do these tips videos but if we were to open an online shop which is something that I've been thinking about for quite some time you guys have been asking me non-stop whether we should you know open up an online shop and it really is something that I have been thinking about you know I would want to create my own strains but that's something that I might want to do eventually down the road it's just not really a huge priority right now for those of you that are just curious whether I ever just wanted to start breeding. And now as far as the different plants and all that stuff, unfortunately, I can't show you the differences because of YouTube's monetization rules, but you can definitely look online and it's gonna, it's gonna show you the difference. I'm here to try to explain things for you. Now let's talk about Hermes. Trash, I know, but we're gonna talk about it, okay? I'm just gonna go on a limb here and say, I don't think you want Hermes. Like, literally for any reason. Picture yourself having schlongs and vajayjays, okay? I, I know, I know, it's not really cool to think about, but you know, for the sake of this discussion, that literally is what's going on here. Your plants will sometimes develop both male and female reproductive organs. And there are a few ways that this could happen. It can be either genetical or environmental factors play a role in this, you know, and you know, or even both, you know, even both that can cause this to happen. And if it's genetical, you got some bad genetics, okay? Plain and simple. I don't know how else to say it to you guys, just super bad genetics, all right? Also, if your plants 
parents go through some insane stress, I mean some hardcore stress and your environmental conditions are just complete trash, you can have the best genetics in the world, okay? The best genetics in the world, but you will still get Hermes, okay? There's a certain amount of stress your plants can handle until they're just like, you know what? I'm a bounce, bro. It's almost, just think of it this way. It's almost like they go into emergency panic mode and they end up pollinating and reproducing with themselves. It's kind of like some Southern hillbilly folk. Now, hey, I said some, okay? But anyway, if you're trying to grow the best flowers possible, you definitely want to avoid getting hermed out. Now the $64,000 question is, can you tell if your plants are male or female? female before flowering? And the answer to that question is, oh yes, absolutely. This is definitely a good thing because you can get rid of your males altogether so your females don't end up getting pollinated. That would be an absolute waste of waste of the last however long you're gonna end up growing if you're trying to get flowers. So listen up. I know, I'm kind of sick here. Okay, I think I'm good now. All right, so listen up. Before you get into the flowering stage, your plants are gonna start revealing their sex in the form of pre-flowers, which is the early stage of your flowers, your buds, and the pollen sac to form around the nodes, which is pretty much where the branches and main stem meet. So, how soon can you tell if your plants are male or female? I would say that usually around the sixth week is when you can start to tell, but you have to keep paying attention to your plants, even maybe in the fifth week. Just always keep checking around the nodes. Nodes. As a general rule of thumb, males are going to reveal their sex about two weeks earlier than females, so it's going to give you a chance to learn their sexes and get rid of the males if you're trying to literally just straight up get flowers. If you're trying to get rid of the males, just remember that time is of the essence, so just make sure that you're always paying attention to your plants if you got regulars going on. But if you're a breeder, then you most likely don't even give a crap at this point. You kind of need the males. Let's talk a little bit about identifying the early signs of males. During the early flowering stage, check out your grow room or wherever your garden is with a magnifying glass and inspect a few of the nodes on each plant just to see how far along into the flowering process your plants are. And at this stage you won't really see any obvious flowers or pollen sacs but you're going to be looking for young pre-flowers and nine times out of ten you're going to be able to tell them apart. Like I said before the male pre-flowers are just they're just going to look like balls. They won't have any hairs or anything like that but later on in the flowering stage those balls are going to start to form clusters. You're going to be able to easily see without any kind of magnifying glass, okay? Just look for it. So at this point, make sure that you're getting rid of them unless you're trying to crossbreed. And obviously, the difference between males and females are gonna be really obvious as they grow, but if you can tell them apart in the early stages, you know what, you're solid, you're gold. Since we talked about identifying male plants, let's talk about identifying female plants and the pre-flowers are gonna develop at the nodes. Instead of seeing balls, you're gonna see hairs that look like V. So just think of it shorthand as the HA. Hey, that's the best thing I could think of, right? The small hairs I'm talking about are known as pistils, which are the sex organs of the female plants. And the idea for them is to capture pollen, which is what is gonna lead to fertilization. And as you get further along in the flowering stage, you're gonna start to see some small crystals. And lastly, let's talk about identifying Hermes, since that's literally what the video, the title is about Hermes. <sighs> they really suck, don't they? If you ever heard about people talking about quote unquote bananas, they're talking about Hermes straight up. And the reason they're called bananas is because <laughs> They literally look like it. They look like bananas. That's actually how they get their name. Now, instead of producing separate organs, they got like a male and female hybrid thing going on. There is a difference though between true Hermes and bananas. It's like two different types of Hermes, you could say. Now, for the other $64,000 question, I know we have two $64,000 questions in one video. Go figure, right? It's to how to avoid Hermes in your grow room. It's all about stress and genetics, like I mentioned earlier in the video. It's really that simple. Stress and genetics. If you have bad genetics, you're gonna get it. If you have a lot of damage to your plants, you got diseases, you got heat stress, nutrient deficiencies, just really horrible environmental conditions, they're gonna freak out. That's when they start spitting out emergency seeds. Think of it as a last ditch effort to pretty much reproduce. It's a survival tactic within themselves, so try to maintain a stable environment in your grow space and make sure that you have rock solid genetics. Some people love bag seed, but I love peace of mind just a little bit more. Okay, a lot more. Whatever floats your boat. If you have problems with bag seeds herming, don't come crying about it. You know, just spend some money on quality genetics. And on a side note, on a side note here, I have to say it, I always hear people complaining about the price of beans. 
everybody always complains about prices at the dispensary. So price of beans, price of dispensary, that's what people complain about. Now think about how much flowers cost at a dispensary and look at how much you're paying for your beans with the potential of getting lots of weight, okay? You know, depending on your growing experience, of course. Now, even if you're just starting out, you should get at least somewhat of a decent yield, all right? Now, when you take this into account, just think of all the money that you're saving in the long run. Stop complaining and just buy the beans, all right? Even if you were to spend, let's just say 250 to $300 on 20 beans, let's just, just say it, you know, I know it's different depending on where you live, but let's just say the price of an O at dispensary is, you know, 250, $300, what you would be spending if, you know, on 20 beans. Okay, so just look at that. Let's just say you get about three or four O's per plant and with the 20 beans, are you really getting ripped off? You know what I'm saying? You can't look at how much you're gonna spend on your beans initially. You can't look at upfront costs, okay? Look at the long-term investment here. Don't think short-term. Think long-term because if you think short-term, growing might not be for you. <laughs> Heck, a lot of things might not be for you because a lot of things in the world, think about it, how you spend your money. A lot of things are investments. Most of them are long-term investments. You buy a car, you buy a house, you buy beans, you know what I'm saying? You buy anything. You buy um, a, a, a gaming PC even, you know what I'm saying? You're spending like three, $4,000 even, but you're gonna have that PC for quite a long time. Apple computers, same thing. Cameras, everything. You gotta look at certain things long-term. You can't think of the short, you know what I'm saying? So just think about it. Also, most of the stuff that you buy in your first run, it's gonna be one-time cost. Lights are a one-time cost. Pots are probably gonna be like a one-time cost. Your grow tent, all the stuff that you need for your grow, your fans, that's all one-time cost. Only things you're gonna be buying are beans and you know maybe some soil. LED technology has come a long way and the electric bill is super cheap with the lights they're coming out with now, so I don't even wanna hear anybody complaining, oh, well, you know, electric bill, electric bill. Listen, my electric bill, I was running two ES300s. It was like maybe $20 more in the electric bill. You know, it's super cheap, so you can't even complain about it. Whole thing I'm trying to say here is just stop complaining and get the beans, get it done. And you know what? I'm saying that with love, guys, all right? So I feel like we covered a lot about male, female, and Hermes. You know, I covered as much as we could. If there's something that I might have missed, drop it in the comments below. I love when you guys drop certain stuff that I miss, you know what I mean? Nothing but love and positivity on this channel. Negativity, out the door, you know what I'm saying? That's how I roll up in here. But anyway, before we close off today's video, I want to thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon since February. I really appreciate the love and support, guys. So before I close off today's video, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content if you're not already subscribed. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.